Nicotine. Believe it or not, it's a powerful drug, no less serious than alcohol, cannabis, or opioids. We've known for years that nicotine in the form of tobacco has serious short and long-term consequences. But only recently have we begun to realize that nicotine in the form of e-cigarettes or vaping can have serious consequences as well. Extract nicotine from tobacco, put it into cartridges or oils inhaled without smoke, and you still have all the addictive properties, keep some of the harmful effects, and introduce new ones. Nicotine, which comes in the form of cigarettes, cigars, smokeless tobacco, and more recently, e-cigarettes, doesn't produce the same level of intense pleasurable effects as other drugs such as opioids, cannabis, or methamphetamines. But talk to anyone trying to quit using it and they'll confirm it's just as addictive. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more Americans are addicted to nicotine than to any other drug. Tobacco use related to nicotine has been the leading cause of preventable disease, disability, and death in the United States for a long time. What sets nicotine apart from these other substances is that it's so readily available in places that intersect with our everyday lives. Whether nicotine is inhaled, ingested, or absorbed into the body through skin contact, it produces a number of pleasurable effects. It causes a release of adrenaline, which stimulates the central nervous system, increasing blood pressure and heart rate. It also raises levels of dopamine, a feel-good chemical found in the pleasure and motivation centers of the brain. But over time, that stimulation and raised blood pressure reduces the heart's ability to pump blood throughout the body. Carbon monoxide from inhaled tobacco smoke can raise risks for heart attacks because of a lack of oxygen. Smoking also thickens the blood and causes injury to blood vessels, which puts stress on the heart and increases a person's risk for a blood clot, heart attack, and stroke. For many people, nicotine can stimulate memory and alertness. In others, it can act as a sedative, making the user feel extremely relaxed as it's absorbed directly through nicotinic receptors that influence muscles and organs throughout the body. Nicotine has effects on multiple different organ systems. Uh, it depends on where the nicotinamide receptor or the receptor that nicotine actually acts on is found in the body. Uh, it can be found in the brain, on nerves, uh, or on the end of nerves where nerves meet muscles called the neuromuscular junctions. Now when it's found on nerves, uh, we have two divisions of what we call the peripheral nervous system. One is called the sympathetic uh, or fight or flight nervous system. Uh, so think of uh, being scared by a bear and running away from it. It gets your heart elevated, your blood pressure really high, you start sweating. And the other is the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the rest and digest peripheral nervous system. Uh, so this is associated with uh, satiety when we've just eaten a big meal, uh, when our heart rate really slows down. In therapeutic levels, nicotine can cause, uh, can cause some people to kind of feel a little drowsy. Uh, it usually causes people to feel a little bit more alert, so it can give us a little bit more energy. Um, this is what results in a hypertension or high blood pressure and tachycardia or rapid, rapid heart rate. Taking too much nicotine uh, doesn't feel so good. People usually don't try to take too much nicotine. Um, when they do, they start to get, it's a potent uh, emetic, so people start to get nauseous. They start vomiting. At higher doses, um, is when we start seeing some of the life-threatening effects of toxicity. Uh, rather than the rapid heart rate or high blood pressure, we start seeing a really a drop in the heart rate and a drop in blood pressure. Um, and then at those neuromuscular junctions, um, at very high levels, it completely blocks that junction. Uh, so we get par paralysis and fasciculations. And if we get paralysis, uh, fasciculations of our respiratory muscles, uh, that results in death. When a person smokes nicotine, these pleasurable effects are activated almost instantly, within seconds of the first puff. Not only are these effects very powerful, they also make a person crave more nicotine if and when they stop using it. When someone with a habit of smoking tries to stop, they experience withdrawal symptoms, such as irritability, problems paying attention, difficulty sleeping, increased appetite, and powerful cravings for more nicotine. 
As tobacco products have evolved from combustible cigarettes to e-cigarettes, the amounts of nicotine they contain have risen exponentially. A fatal dose of nicotine for an adult can be 60 milligrams, depending on the person's size and weight. Average combustible cigarettes contain around 10 to 12 milligrams of nicotine, but most of it's lost in the smoking process. Only about one or two milligrams actually make it into the body. Smoking an entire pack of standard cigarettes would be less than 40 milligrams of nicotine. It's a different story with e-cigarettes. One top e-cigarette manufacturer claims their cartridge to be a similar experience to a pack of cigarettes, but was found to have a concentration of 59 milligrams. And thousands of other chemicals are found in tobacco, tobacco smoke, and the liquids and oils used in e-cigarette products. When combined, these chemicals can cause serious and sometimes fatal illnesses. People who smoke are more likely to develop cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer during their lifetime. And more recently, vaping has been linked to EVOLI, a potentially fatal lung injury that causes gastrointestinal symptoms, chest congestion, and difficulty breathing. Nicotine provides many people with short-term pleasurable effects that can easily lead to unintended use, serious medical problems, and sometimes death. It's a powerful chemical that shouldn't be underestimated, especially when there are so many ways to get help in curbing its use.